cyanide. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. And we're talking a seriously over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the end times, it is a gorgeous Tuesday morning. And I'm hoping this is not someone arriving to put a boat in. Uh, it is January 30th. I'm getting close to wrapping up the first month of 2024. And uh, so I guess this is day four now after my uh, fateful mushroom trip Friday night where uh I officially became a bitter old man. <laughs> I so I'm trying out my fourth day of bitterness. You know, I, I've described myself as a lot of things over my worthless, pointless existence. You know, uh, you know, I've been depressed. I've been enraged. I've been grief-stricken. I have been absolutely bored shitless. Uh, and uh, as Chris Christopherson said on that record that I was on his first record, I have, <clears throat> as I am now, uh, known when loneliness was more than a state of mind. Loneliness is more than a state of mind. It is a... Anyway, so I've described all myself, but I have never until the past couple of days described myself as bitter. But so now I can add bitterness to loneliness, depression, grief, and rage, and boredom, and all the rest, that I am uh, officially a bitter old man, and I'm uh, <clears throat> thinking, what can make me more bitter than I already am? Well, there's these fires that you can't see that they're starting, uh, so this absolutely gorgeous day will soon be destroyed by the smoke from the fires but I'm going to zero in and I cannot believe that I never knew this what this is right here off of this dock I don't know where these sandhill cranes are uh, I, I noticed that those cranes have been standing there. Uh, they, they spend a lot of time there. Well, what that is, is their nest. You know, these three cranes that, I'm, that I've been hanging around with. And then, uh, you know, the, the parents and the baby. And... So what happened now eight days ago, the you know, the parents chased their baby away from there. And I just thought they were running the the you know, it was a yearling off so they could have you know, they could go build their nest and have their next thing of babies. And what I did not realize is that they had already laid their egg there, that that was an active nest and the baby was getting ready to hatch. So they chased the yearling off last week because the new baby was getting ready to hatch. And so completely, without me even realizing it, the new baby was born last week. So there was a, they, 
sometimes they lay one egg, sometimes they lay two. So they only laid one egg. One new baby bird was born last week. Completely, I was unaware that they had a new chick. And then Saturday, you know, I was not here because I had my gig uh, at sunset. So what happened is the new baby was born. And for the one time when I was not here, I got people coming from two directions, is so when I was not here, right at sunset on Saturday, they were out with their brand new baby. Uh, the new chick was there uh, in the nest with the, with the babies. And what happened, you see that water back behind there, is this damn alligator just right here off the dock uh, with with people watching the the brand new baby the this alligator came shooting out of the water and attacked and uh, ate the brand new baby uh, sandhill crane and killed it and ate it and well people were just looking on in horror and uh, so I, I guess I, I, I'm just as glad that I missed that and uh, now there are no sign of the babies just reading this article yesterday at somewhere in Florida not far from here that there were these two tundra swans were swimming around which are almost unheard of in Florida they were just in the lake swimming and all of these bird watchers were celebrating and taking pictures and, the, and this clueless fucking moron hunter just came up and while they were still in the water not flying and shot and killed one you, you know like sandhill cranes they mate for life and uh, th th this fucking asshole redneck uh right in front of a crowd of people just shot one of these tundra swans in the water all right so the the white bird is going to go check out the scene of this the crime here but, uh, yep that fella yesterday telling me that story said you better keep your eye on that little dog that uh he said that fucking gator came out of nowhere and attacked that brand new baby bird and i said the parents were an absolute freak out just attacking the gator and pecking him and shit and the gator sat right there said it took about three gulps and that was the end of that baby sandhill crane. But anyway, I need to wrap this up. Back to one of my pump tard neighbors here. Speaking of pump tards, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and talk about uh, how the mushroom guide made me feel more sympathetic for trump tards. For another day. <sighs> what a fucking life. Get out there and enjoy not being bitter while you still can. Because it's probably coming for you too. And it's not a good feeling. Mm, my guys. <laughs>